Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips Tutorial Tuesdays. Today, we're going to be talking about how to make a simple model in Cinema 4D. And this model is going to be of a wine glass. And this will technically work for a lot of other things that you choose. Uh, you just make want to make sure that you set up everything right and do everything correct for it to work the best for you. But uh, anyways, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a wine glass. And basically, all I did was is I went on to Google images search for a wine class preferably a front uh, perspective image and right clicked it and save the image and uh, you're basically ready to go so we're just gonna go ahead and launch cinema 4d and uh, first thing we're gonna do is drop in a cube like so then we'll double click down here to create a new material double click on the material created check off specular and color click the three dots to load an image we're just gonna go open up the image we got off of Google and hit open here you can hit yes or no it doesn't matter and we'll just close out of that and we'll just drag this material right onto the cube like so alright so we have that and um, the very next step here is to click on this icon here to change our views and we're gonna go into front view and you'll notice we don't see anything yet so we're going to have to go to display and check this or choose this first option here that um, is available to us and I am in Cinema 4D R13 so keep that in mind um, and that's pretty much it so we're gonna go ahead and go up to the um, spline icon and we're gonna choose Akima spline and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start basically tracing around this um, wine glass and I will probably uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this but you can make this uh, better if you choose by taking your time and making your splines closer together to make it more accurate but uh, I'm just going to speed up the video and get through this uh, you basically just go all the way around the wine glass and um, explain what to do after that so yeah. Alright guys, so I just got done going all the way around the wine glass and uh, it looks pretty good so what we could do now is go out of our front view and go back into our perspective view here and what we'll do is uh, we'll go up to the hyper nerves icon and drop any lathe nerves and then take the spline that we just created and drag and drop it into the lathe nerves okay and you're not gonna see anything yet till we hide the cube and uh, there's our wine glass guys uh, that's what we just modeled and uh, now that it looks good we can go ahead and get rid of this cube we don't need it anymore so we can delete it and uh, from here we just need to make a few minor adjustments but uh, like I stated earlier I don't know if you can tell in the video but it's not very smooth and that's mainly due to uh, because I didn't take my time really um, mainly just because this was a tutorial and I'm just showing you guys how this is done but uh, anyways we'll go ahead and highlight the lathe nerves in the spline press C on our keyboard and actually let's see if we wanted to smooth this out a little bit on our lathe nerves we could uh, increase the subdivisions here and uh, you know it's not going to be perfect but it might help if your guys is a little bit rough like mine and we'll go like 60 60 or so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and highlight it. Both of them, press C on the keyboard, puts it into one object, and uh, here in the top, I'm going to go to our polygon mode, go to select, um, we'll go to ring selection, and what we're going to do is just select the, the top part here and delete it so that we actually have a hollow glass, as you can see here, wine glass. So, 
Uh, what we could do to further smooth this out is go into hypernerves and drag the laden nerves into hypernerves and then go into the hypernerves and increase the subdivisions. Now, the more you increase it, um, the laggier your window is going to get. Um, but uh, really, guys, that's all you really have to do to model a wine glass. Now, what you would do from this point is um, create a material probably leave on specular and you would check on transparency uh, you might want to play around with the reflection uh, refraction and whatnot and uh, I'm just kind of curious as to what uh, this might look like if I drag a material on there I'm not going to create my own I'm probably just going to use um, one I got off of grayscale gorilla they have a texture kit in case you guys didn't know so um, let's see see what I got to work with here Hmm. All right, so I just found this uh, glass material. I'm just going to drag that onto the wine glass as well. I was going to show you a rendered preview, but it looked pretty bad, and that's mainly due to the fact that I didn't take my time with this. Um, so if you want it to look good, just keep in mind you're going to have to take your time with it. But nevertheless, uh, you can do a lot of other things. Uh, as far as modeling is concerned this way um, but this is just very basic um, so yeah guys I uh, hope you learned something I hope you uh, hope you guys can use this uh, if you do something with it um, that you think is worth sharing go ahead and leave a video response to this one and I'll gladly take a look at it um, so once again thanks for watching and I will see you guys later peace out